Hi, my name is Erica and I'm making this video in regards to a recent notification that I got about an unknown accessory detected on me. I posted a video about it before and a lot of people asked for an update. I had talked to Apple the day after this happened and they said they were going to talk to their engineers and then get back to me. If you haven't seen my first video, essentially I got the notification after after a Saturday night out or Friday night out, I think it was, that an unknown accessory was detected on me and I freaked out after seeing all the viral things on TikTok about women getting these notifications and then finding one planted on them. I was not able to find one on any of my belongings. I had called the police, the non-emergency police line. They refused to help me, surprise, surprise. And so the next morning I called Apple. So originally the woman I spoke to from Apple was very reassuring. She took my concerns very seriously and wanted to rule out any risk to my safety. I know that people on TikTok get notifications just like these where it doesn't allow you to learn anything more about this device. So even though I got off the phone with no answers, I did feel better after talking to her and felt like she did want to, you know, make sure that I was safe and that this wasn't a risk. She, however, had no idea what to do. And she was like, basically, I'm just going to put in a request for more information from our engineers. And we're going to have to schedule another call with you at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. This was a Saturday morning. I got off the phone with her. I waited several days and I never got another notification about this device and it was saying last seen early in the morning on Saturday. The only thing that was sus about this was that the time it was last seen kept changing. And so I like first originally it said 11:35 p.m. the first time ever and then a couple hours later it said 12 and then the next day it said 12:30 and then it started saying 12:38 then it said 12:40 and eventually it said last seen at 1 in the morning on Saturday so i was like what does that mean this notification had scared me because it showed on the map exactly where we had parked when we went out. We had gone to a basketball game. We stopped to get a drink. It showed where we had parked at, and then it showed the direction that we drove back to my house. And then it showed me entering my house. So I was just like, is this fucking thing in my house? Where it, could it be? I have no idea how somebody could have planted this on me. I have no idea how somebody could have put it in my bag. It must be in my boyfriend's car, but then, you know, it showed me entering the house, so it wasn't on the car. It was just such a confusing situation. Four days go by, I get no more notifications. Nothing is weird other than the fact that the time it was last seen keeps changing. After I spoke to this woman on Apple, she ended up sending me this message and she had tried to call me back a few times, but I had I have a job, so I went to my job and I wasn't able to answer the phone. She basically sent me this and said, Said, if you get another notification, take note of who you are with, what time, what are the circumstances. Um, this made me chuckle because she was like, if you feel unsafe, call the police. And I'm like, I know they're not going to fucking do anything. Police, by the way, were literally like, you can call us if somebody hurts you. So then comes Wednesday, I set my alarm and I get up and I'm like sitting at the phone waiting. Um, stressed and confused because I have no answers and I've had a bunch of people on TikTok commenting and being like, you're gonna die. I also felt a little bit foolish. I was like, is this just a glitch? Is this just a joke? Am I a crazy woman? So she calls me five minutes late, which stresses me out, but whatever. The original lady who was a senior advisor at Apple had specifically told me that she was gonna be the person to call me back. So I'm expecting to talk to the same woman who's very nice. Then it's this random bitch who I've never talked to in my life who's like, can I help you? Not even sure of what my situation was, just asking the regular questions of like, what device are you calling about today? I'm immediately annoyed because the original lady I spoke with on Saturday explicitly said that she was going to be the one to talk to me. Uh, and she happens to be a senior advisor at Apple and was going to put in a request for more information, like she said, from the engineers. And we're supposed to discuss this on Wednesday, so I'm expecting my friend here from the original call and this lady was just like uh you can answer her email and ask her to call you this like really frustrates me of course i know apple is a huge company i know they have lots of things to deal with other than my problems but i felt like this was a risk to my safety 
and I'm not the only one. First gave me the sense that they heard me and that I was not wrong for being scared and that they could help me, but any regard to me was qu quickly lost as they couldn't even have the decency to connect me with the same individual that I spoke with like they said they would. So I send the original lady an email. I'm like, please, can you get back to me? So she calls me back and she's like, I'm sorry for the miscommunication. Ah. She basically says to me, sometimes error tags or previously developed devices that are similar you know, like those tile things or off-brand stuff from other people can be shown on your phone. So basically the AirTag will send out a signal that to several people that can be traced from other people's phones in order for it to be located by its owner. It will send out this signal over a longer period of time that it's been away from its owner. So it's not gonna alert you the second it enters the same vicinity as you. This was one of my concerns because I was like, is it my boyfriend's AirTags? Is it his AirPods? But I had been with him since 6 p.m. that night and I didn't get this notification until 11 o'clock at night. And it, it said that this item was first seen at 10, 15 p.m. She explains that, that it's not not gonna alert you the very first second you're with this this device it's gonna wait a couple a period of time she said it, it could vary the amount of time but it could be a few hours she tells me that the fact that I was unable to learn more about the item would be because I'm unable to connect to the item meaning that it's no longer with you I felt kind of sus about this answer because I was still with, I was still in the same room as, as Brian, my boyfriend, and he still had his air, his air tags and his AirPods. So I was like, what's the difference between then and now? I also felt sus about this because I've seen this exact notification on TikTok from people who ended up finding these items. Then she told me that this wasn't an air tag and that was likely somebody's similar tracking device because an air tag specifically shows that it's an air tag. I was like, what? Then I was like, does that mean it's a tile? Does that mean it's something else? Then she starts trying to say it could be my boyfriend's, either his AirPods or his AirTags. And then I was like, okay, but you just said that because it didn't specifically show that it was an AirTag, it was likely some other off-brand device. Brian has like legitimate AirTags, like from Apple. It's not some like metal detector he bought off Sheen. It's the actual on-brand air tag with the apple on it that you buy at the apple store i was just like what i don't know this was all the information that she gave me i definitely felt some type of way about these answers however i haven't received any more notifications from this accessory so that kind of put me at ease a little bit i also did a lot of reading on reddit and TikTok and just at the sheer numbers of people who have also experienced this makes me think that it is probably more likely that it is just some weird glitch with the AirPods or the AirTags or some similar tracking device. So because of that, I don't feel that it necessarily means that somebody's trying to kidnap you and sell you to the circus. However, I understand that it's really scary, especially reading these horror stories that we see on social media about people being tracked. If you have had a notification like this, First step is probably to take note of where you are, who's around you. If they have AirPods, if they have AirTags, if they have all the off-brand stuff that tracks things too. Definitely search your stuff, search your car. People have found them on their cars, but if you really can't find it, it's there is a good likelihood that it is some weird glitch. I don't really have an answer for what happened. This is probably an uneventful update, but. I wanted to share what Apple said to me. My own conclusion is that I guess it was likely some weird mistake. That being said though, if you have experienced this and you have freaked out like myself, totally valid reason to freak out, especially if you are a woman and you yourself are something that is of value to somebody else. You, you always have to be on alert. You always have to be careful, but I hope I can put people's minds at ease. Call Apple for sure. And if you have a good police department, not an OPD, um, maybe even call police. I wish I could give y'all a better answer. I wish I could recall these products myself so that nobody has to go through this. I just want to say that I hope everybody out there stays safe. I've had so many comments of people on TikTok and on YouTube asking about my well-being and I really appreciate that. It's easy to forget that, you know, it's dangerous and that bad things can happen to you if you're not careful. So you definitely have to be safe and have to ensure that you're looking out for the people around you. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell it is. Maybe it's the government. Be safe, take care of yourself, um, look out for the people around you. If you made it this far, 
Thank you so much for watching. I ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing here on YouTube. I kn just know that I make music. I am currently working on a master's degree in jazz. I play saxophone and I sing and I wanna share that with people. I'll also compete in bodybuilding. I'm very passionate about fitness and I post about that sometimes. I wish you all the best and I hope everyone stays safe and takes care of themselves. Thanks for watching.